Hey guys, what's up, Life Secrets here, and it is time, yes it is, for our updated guides about Blade of Roblox. So welcome, Builder Man, the Durable Disruptor, Hey. Now I just want to go and say something, holy shit, now I want to go and say something real quick. Uh, Shoutouts to Blocks or 787 for helping me be able to get all my purchases back and also to put me on the list. Shoutouts to him. I got all, all the characters. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, my guys. It's going to be easier for my guys now since I don't need to grind for them. But, you know, besides that. So right now, at the beginning of the game, you start out normal and think, hey, what should I buy? Because the shop is bullshit. Well, let me tell you something. I recommend you buy a prickly helmet. Now you might be asking why a prickly helmet. Well, because first of all, it gives you 10 toughness and it gives you 5 skills, which basically boosts your ability to deal damage and to also upgrade your abilities. Okay? You don't build with the two with the two normal swords. Now you go with this item. This one, this right here. Just buy a prickly helmet and that's it. Okay. Now this guy isn't about killing everyone, okay? This guy is about being the annoying person that you are and knocking everyone out, okay? You're not meant to do damage. You see that? 4 damage. You see that? 12.7. Basically, this game is kind of a little bit broken where they don't really have the good updates. Well, I mean, they do have good updates, but it's like the scaling. They need to fix a lot of people's scalings. Uh, a lot of people's scaling, so, you know. But... You know, I'll just go with what we have for now, so I guess this is it. So right now, you're on your map, okay? You're in a lane, uh, preferably a solo lane or with a duo lane because um, it's just an easier way to be with your teammates or with so that you can have a better time, you feel me? Now, now actually, what you should max first for your ability should be your one first if you want to disrupt the enemy as much as possible and also with waves uh, you get your two if you know that you are useless and you can't do nothing your three if you want to initiate because you have a really good uh, duo or four if you want to open the damage because it's pretty good like for example if you want to do this yeah you can do that it's just clear the waves you don't even need to hit the people you can just hit the waves because the most important thing about Build Man is that this is not damage. Before, I suggested damage and it worked completely. But that was like when it was in a really strange and incomplete state. It's not exactly viable now. Um, so right now, I just want... Oh, he's not me. Oh, beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Show him your dominance. You see that? He's half HP. And I, and I don't got... Wait, what the heck was that? What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Did you see that? Like from half HP to zero? Like does it do that much damage? I didn't know. Well that's besides the point. Now once when you go back usually you should go and buy some boots because boots are pretty important in this game. It's pretty viable. It's actually a really good deal. I don't know what happened there. It's like what the heck was that, dude? But I guess that doesn't matter right now. This gives me a better explanation to tell you guys. You don't want to do the damage, okay? You don't want to be that person who builds 1 million damage. You want to be that person who just annoys the enemy team. Now, you might be asking, why? Well, because the scalings are really messed up. Uh, so, yeah. So, Builderman is not a viable option to go and build damage on. I mean, you can if you try, and I'll salute you, but I'm not so sure if it works or not. And I still don't know how this dude uh, killed me. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit angry on it, but I'm not, eh. This is what it is. So right now, you don't really want to go and attack the enemy. You just want to go and annoy them. Like, knock them away. Tell them you're, they're fat or something. Just do whatever it takes. Like, knock their minions away. Why not? Your point isn't to do the damage, that's all I'm telling you. Your point is to be the most annoying person on Earth. Like him, see? Oh, he tried to go in, and he and he messed up. He goofed up. Now, watch this. Bam, 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 bam. Did you see that? That's, that's like one, like three-fourths of his HP gone already. Now, you might be saying, oh, but that's because of minions. Well, yeah, it's because of minions. You're not supposed to be the one that does the most damage, aren't you? You're supposed to be the one who's supposed to 
make people goof up. You're supposed to be the one that makes people do these mistakes and to not have. I'm 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 staying a little bit. Ah, oh, what the heck are you? You you're a cow. I no get the heck out of here. I don't like you. What makes you think you're able to do that to me? Coming in my lane and saying, hey, I'm gonna goof you up. No man, I'll goof you up. As build man, you don't want to take anything from no one. You want to be able to beat each other up. You want to, what the heck is that dude doing? You got to make sure that you got to build the damage. You got to, not to build the damage. I, that was my old guy. You got to make sure that, oh, see, he's goofed up. He goofed up. He goofed up. Well, not really goofed up, but you know what I mean. He's that one dude. You don't want to mess with, if, he's, if he gets an advantage, oh, you're going to regret everything. Yes, uh, gonna be freaking absolutely everything, man. And usually, once when you're about low, or once when you got about somewhat of an enough of accumulating money, you want to go back to base. You want to upgrade your shoes, and you want to go and try to build up for these items. Since they removed the item limit, which is rest in peace. I hate this game now. Uh, no offense. Uh, you want to be building this stuff right here. The ten toughness and skills. Okay, no, the skills and toughness because this thing right here is a game changer. Okay, this is the best thing. But right now, I'm actually more concerned with boots because since look at them, they have a lot of eight uh, attack damage or as said skills. So I'm gonna go buy these boots because as builder man, you probably don't need speed. You just need to buy these boots. Okay, they're pretty good. They're not a bad buy. If you're doing bad, then yeah. Sometimes though, you gotta help out your teammates. Like this person right here, he, he's kind of having a little bit of a bad time. So I'm gonna come here and help him because this is literally a 3v1 link and I'm pretty sure that this dude needs some help. Now here's the power of uh, fighting with a duo. Uh, you get to do this, um, do that, um, do that. Uh, boost up your toughness so that you can take more and call him fat and look at what he did. Look at what he did. Look, he's dying right now. You know why he's dying? Because he is doing mistakes. Mistakes that he shouldn't be doing. Going this? What do you mean you're going back? Don't go back. You're a cow. What the heck are you doing? What do you mean you can go back? Don't ever try to go back in my lane ever again. Some bullshit right there. As you can see, you are going to be that one person who annoys the living shit out of him. You don't care. You go for it. <laughs> and what makes you think that he'll give a dang? Look at him, Bob. Bob, did you see that? Killed right there because he did a mistake and you will push that mistake. You are not the person that's going to do the most damage. You are the person who's going to punish the people. You are the tank. You are not meant to do a lot, but you are meant to destroy them with your um, crowd control, as said. Like this. Let's help this dude out. Whoopow! Annoy you. Oh, shit, dude. Getting a little bit destroyed right there, man. What's happening? You taught them too. I'll call you fat. Yeah, that's right. Oh, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, what are you gonna do about it, man? Can't do a lot. And look, bam, knock them back. Do as much disruption as possible. Remember, as builder man, you are not usually gonna get the kills. But if you do get a very cool advantage, push it as hard as you can because you probably won't be. Now this dude, see, you have to punish people. Punish people for messing up. Like him, he went in, so I punished him by beating him up. See, look at the minions. The minions are doing the good work too. I can literally dive in and kill him most likely, but you know, it's uh, too risky for me. Oh yeah, disrupt minions, cause screw you minions. See this dude right here, I dare him to go in. If he goes in, his world is gonna get goofed up. But he ain't, he's smart. He knows, unless if he's lagging, but I don't know if he's lagging or not. Look at him, man. Oh, he just completely disconnected. You gotta make sure you bully the other people. You are not meant to be that person who knows, uh, hey guys, I'm gonna get all the kills. You are meant to be that one person who decimates them. Look, did you see that? He just stunned me saying, ha ha, what a funny joke. Well, now look, look, he can't do shit anymore. And also, yeah, I really recommend that you max your heal second if you are not maxing it first, mainly because, well, I mean, you're kind of a little bit insane if you don't max it. By a second, because it maxes because a heal is really efficient, it's really good. Now, as you can see here, no, David, what the heck are you doing? Get the heck out, don't even try to go and do that in my ship. As stated, you're kind of like the professor, a support, but you do damage, so kind of like a telemark or the shedinator, 
as I like to call it, but, you know, there are a lot of different play styles. My play style, you want to annoy the people? What do you want to be in real life? You don't know real science. And look at that. And look at that. He, he didn't need to teleport, but he just wanted to anyways. I guess he's too scared. You have to make sure you bring the fear into the enemy. You got to make sure you let this dude or your partner get all the good stuff and you make sure that you are getting good enough where you can just do that and just basically say, I, I never liked you to begin with, so I don't like you being in my lane. However, though, you have to be map aware because if you're not map aware, then you can't really know which side to go on because as a support tank, you have to make sure that you know how to assert your dominance to the enemy team. Now, I'm sorry that this guy doesn't seem... Oh, this dude grouped up now. Oh, uh, I grouped up. Oh, shit, dude, I didn't goof up. Oh, shit, dude. When you goof up, you goof up. Daily example of what the Buildinator can do. If you take an advantage, use it hard. Stomp on it. Basically, stomp on them as much as possible. You want to make sure you take all the advantages. Don't give them a single chance. It's kind of a little bit savage when you know. Once when you get about 200 ticks, to no, not 200, 2,000, then you can buy the best item in the game, which is basically the fort upgrade to this weapon, which is basically that broadsword. And everyone likes a broadsword for this dude because you get a pack of a punch for your basic attacks, and you get an amazing amount of toughness. Now, we don't forget about resistance either. If you're thinking about it in this video, oh, how come you're not talking about resistance? Oh, don't worry, I will talk about resistance. I can't. Like this dude. Oh, this dude's gonna die though. Cause I, I don't know what this dude's doing, but. Oh, what the heck do you think you're doing? You wanna get beat up too? Why not? Hey, join the party. Get beat up. You. Oh, so you gotta. You gotta bring it. What the heck is that? Who the heck are you? What are you doing in my lane? Do you want to have a bad time too? You want to die? I can give you the die. Dude, I'll kill. No, I'll kill this dude right here, right now. Oh my god, did you see that? Destroy, decimated. Remember, if you have a very good advantage, use it as much as possible. Don't don't just go and sit back and relax just because you have an advantage. You want to push everything. Because as build man, you got to be the annoying dude. That one dude who will not stop. Like him? Ah, man. Slow you and get out. Get out. Now, the main counters the builder man is like this dude. The ones that can push you away and stop you from doing all of your crazy crowd control. That type of person. But however, it don't matter to Builder Man. Builder Man just does what he wants. Get the heck out of here. You don't even deserve to be here. Now see, you have to max your hill. If you max your 1, 3, or 4 at first, you have to max this by second. Because you don't want to be a crazy ding McKingle who just goes and doesn't heal. Because healing is an essential part of you. It is the bond. Now you see this right here. This is one example. If they go in, I'm going to go in. And then I'll push them here. And now my my duo partner is going to decimate them. See, he activate. Okay, I'm dying, dude. Chill, just a prank. But he's kind of dying too, so that ain't good. But remember, you are fifty percent of the power, and your ally is fifty percent of the power. But then rest in peace. Uh, rest in pepperoni. Rest in peace. Exert your dominance. You have to do it. You're the man with the hammer. You're the one in charge. Don't let others push you around like that. Because as the builder man, you gotta make sure that you are the one in control. Don't let other people be in control. You are the one in control. You have the be one of the best AOEs and crowd controls in the game. And you have the best one of the best self-sustaining heals. So use it to your advantage. I'm 4 and 1. Not because I went in and built full damage. No, it's because I decided to annoy my team and then let my dude right here, my duo, do good damage. And if he can't take it, I'll take it. So you know how it is. Oh, that dude's just a little bit on drugs, to be honest. But you gotta make sure that these people 
are scared by your authority. You can't make them just sit there and do whatever you want, okay? You have to make sure that you know what you're doing. Like right here, I can't do a lot because I ran out of HP, so I'm gonna let him do the work because I'm pretty sure he can. If you're soloing, however, just just push. Just annoy you away. Just clear it. It ain't that difficult. Oh, well, what's happening here? If you want any cool plays, you ain't gonna get them here because you're a build man. You're not the play man, but you know what you can be. You can be the best man on the internet. And here's how. We're going in, breach shit, and look at that. Did you see that? That's that's a good amount of damage right there. That's pretty good. That's like, okay, so dirty plus that's fifty, about sixty damage right there. Sixty damage. And if I add my all, oh, oh my god, that's about a hundred already. Oh no, this dude gives up. Okay, I think so. Now you see how they're going for me. Forget about it. You ain't cool. I'm cool. What makes you think you get to do anything? In this game, it's like your four is very important and precious, but I usually use it when I feel it's appropriate. I don't use. I don't like stop. Not use it. I, I use it. Trust me. See, you're all about that initiation and disengage. You want to make sure that you push everyone aside to say, Hey, I'm going to focus on you. Get the heck out. And stuff like that. So, uh, that was my first guy. Oh, uh, what the heck is this dude doing? This... A little bit of drugs in my own opinion. Oh, now that's something I shouldn't have done. Don't do that. Don't do what I just did and knock them back. If you have a duo who wants to go and focus on that person and they got you stunned and they got you locked and they're attacking you, let your your duo do the damage and just like heal and juke your way out. It's it's just better in general. And you're gonna have a lot of more uh, better feedback. Also don't forget you need to use your chat for your team because teams Team uh, communication is pretty important to playing as a tank and such. So this is why I say you. I only recommend you go duo if you have a very good duo partner. So as you can see here, boom, got sword in the shield. We're almost through a broadsword, but you know what? Forget about it. We're actually going to build something I would like to build. This is going to help you too a lot because you, you want to build that too. And if there's like, oh, enemies that have magic resist, oh, then you can just easily just go and buy this right here, which is the areas where your resistance is. So you can buy both of these. I recommend you buy these more though and these less. If you have to buy these, then buy them less. And I also like to buy these equally as well because they're just very nice in general. They give you a good amount of HP, a good amount of, well, not a good amount of HP. This one gives you a lot more. This is like, oh, but you know, oopsies, that's not what I'm gonna do. But you know, this one, uh, this one, it, it's still pretty good because you get some sort of balance, and it's pretty cheap too, a court, uh, compared to this. But if you want to pack a real punch, and if you think that you got the game, go with this. Just buy one, like a few of these, and then you're good to go if you prepared yourself, if you got the right advantage, right? But usually my build would consist of this. I would buy this in the beginning. I would usually go for these type of boots early. Normally I would buy running shoes, but for considering the case I have here, I think I should go with the defense. And then after that, I would most likely buy, if they have that, if they have the magic damage or the hacks, then you go buy uh, like uh, these items. And I would normally buy these after these items. So it'd be this and then, no, th this, and then buy your boots as soon as possible because you need to go faster and have more defense I guess depending on the enemy team and then buy this one for the little bit boost up in your HP so you don't die that easily uh, then after that if you have to if there's like resistant characters then you go buy this you know but don't buy a lot of these because they are using their abilities so you know you don't need to worry about that that much because abilities take a while to charge up and then after that 
once when you do that, once when you do that a couple of times with your skills and your hacks, then you just go build full HP, get one domino crown, that's it. And then after that, go buy like a few, like two dream healing orbs, and then you can buy another domino crown at some point. Basically, you don't want to focus on the full damage. You want to make sure that you're utterly balanced. So yeah, thank you for watching this guide. I hope you like it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this to your friends and share this on the wall if you want. Share it with all the people you know if it's helpful to you. I'm sorry that it isn't like the old guy, but the old guy was really outdated and I didn't know much about the game that much. But it worked. It did work. Building damage works. And you can still do it now, but it's going to come up with different results. So I'll see you guys later.